Right. Like I'm studying, I'm studying the World Cup from the weekend. Oh. Did you guys watch it? Did you watch it? You should watch it. Yeah, I'm too busy doing other disgusting things. Thing. We're, we're going to have like a last ditch attempt to use the biscuit yeah. to set. So I'm going to try and replicate a, a block from the women's final that happened on Saturday or Friday. I don't remember what day it was. Uh, Yanni Garnbrett made it look really, really easy. I think it was set by a guy called Manu Hassler, like one of the one of the headsetters at the World Cup events. World Championship, not World Cup. It's another dynamic coordination boulder. Mm. You know, the, the World Cup, the World Championship climbing is all about that. They love the it. Bouldering is no longer old school and dirty crimping. It's all about jumping and hand movements and stuff. So this boulder has five hand movements and three foot movements. It's, it's ludicrous. But it's, it makes for a good show, I think. So our board is obviously going to be a little bit different because we don't have the exact yes. same volumes yes. and the same holds. The biggest issue is we don't have the same shape wall to use. Uh, so this might be a little bit too, too shallow. It's not steep enough. Well, I can make it work though. You can make it work. Uh, it's going to be uh, like a simplified version. Yeah. I'm going to try and do the five hand movements, oh. but it'll be, a, it'll be way easier. I'm going to try and do it on my trainers because I don't want to put my shoes on today. For the animal. <laughs> this block in particular, the focus is on the, the first hold you go to after the start position. Mm. So you need to get the start position correct and comfortable. But more importantly, you need to go to a hold that forces you to keep moving. So you can't latch the hold you go to. When, when you're doing a dyno, uh, usually, unless it's like a, like a froggy dyno, yeah. usually you're going to have one, one foot that's going to be doing more pushing than the other. Mm. So for the most part, you want to try and stagger the feet so they're not, they're not uh, parallel or square. So here, my right foot's going to be lower than my left foot because my left foot is going to be doing more of the pushing. And if you, if you cut back to the video, mm -hmm. you'll see it's just the same. So they have a volume on the left that's slightly higher because most of the force is going to be coming from my left foot. You want to gain height on the left, to the left of you. Yeah. And if that left foot is low, you can't gain height. I see. Or it's harder to gain height. You're just going to face bar on the floor. Yeah, exactly. The difference when you're setting a dynamic boulder like this, it's often good to, to pull on and feel out the movement. When you're setting maybe a normal, a normal problem where you're just pulling, you don't need to because you can see where the handholds might want to go. I just pulled on. I felt I felt this hold, and I think it could be flatter. So at the moment. At the moment, it's so steep that you can't really get anything off it at all. Mm. But what you want is to be able to get just enough off it to pull yourself in so you can then generate enough swing to get the next part of the boulder problem. Cool. At the moment, you're kind of just pulling past it. You want to be able to use it a little bit. Get a little boost. Is that what you're going to flip on onto? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's about right though. Let me watch that video. Let's watch that video again. Okay. Okay, so it's close. You got the swing and the foot plant. And now we need left right left so we want to force them to go left hand first basically you know, the movement is you're swinging down this foot hold. yeah i need to make sure the left hand is the easiest one to get first okay. if, if the right hand was easier than yeah. the left they're going to go right hand every time it just needs to be really obvious yeah but uh, if this was a more static climb, you couldn't do that, right? Because then people would cheat or they'd break the problem. Yeah, if you can go slow, basically if you can static, you can match anything. Okay. Really, really small holds even. Uh, so I'm going to put this on. 
and it kind of the same theme. I'm gonna make it just good enough so you can pull on it, but not so good that you can stop on it. That's kind of like the whole ethos behind setting dynamically. Just good enough that you can move off it. Not good enough so you can hold it. Man, you know your shit, lad. So I think it's quite hard to it's quite hard to stop in this position. And it'll be even harder once you're coming already coming from this direction with this amount of speed. You won't be able to stop there, I shouldn't think. But we'll see. Oh you oh. can! <laughs> hey, that's a quite good move though. Yeah man, that looks awesome. Okay, how do we solve it? So the problem is now I've set a move that you can stop at uh. and you don't want to be able to stop. You want to force them to keep going. So maybe maybe this is too good. I don't know. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this worse. Ooh. We'll try something else first. Either you can make the handhold worse mm -hmm. and keep it in the same position, or you can move the handhold. Because I, I still need it to be quite good, so you can continue moving. But for example, if I move it, if I move it left, I reckon it will be less likely that you'll be able to stop in that position. So I'm going to try that. Okay. Oh, it's easier. It's easier. It's, well, let's let's see what it's like with a bit of momentum. <laughs> it's fucking good. Uh, okay, it didn't work. Okay. So instead, we're going to make the hold worse. Maybe we're just cool Oh, the fucking hell. Okay. Do you think the foothold's too good? This is the, the problem is, I've chosen a vert, mm. and what I really need is for this, for this foot to just be around the corner of a big overhang. So I wanna, I wanna hit the foot and have like overhang in my chest, so I can't just stand on the foot and yeah. stay there. You could put the foot here. That's legit, right? Oh yeah, sure man. <laughs> get get off <Perfect. laughs> Oh. Okay, that's too far. That's too too far. far. I think maybe the foot was okay. But the hand, so the hands now need to be much further away. Do you think I could stop on the foot with no hands? Should we try that? Show me. I'm amazed by your abilities. Like so. Ooh. Okay, it's good. Okay. I don't think I can stop on this foot without a hand, but I'm going to offer them hands much, much further past this foot. So to get into a position of stability, you got to hit the foot and keep going because the, uh, your hand, the hands that are going to be over here somewhere are like your saviors. Yeah. They're going to stop you from moving. You never did it. <laughs> it looks okay. I think it works. It's all about directional holds. You don't want to be able to stop at any point. You've taught me a lot, so. <laughs> oh, that's nearly there. Yeah, it's kind of it. It's kind of it. I think with a bit more. A bit more oomph, I could get that and maybe stop, though. Let's try it again. Oh, it's cool! <laughs> you have to really keep going. <laughs> okay, this is World Cup. <laughs> so often, uh, these dynamic moves come down to micro-tweaking. I'm going to move this left hand in slightly so I can get to it sooner, give it a bit more pull, 
Mm. And I'm gonna leave leave these how they are, and then just add a finish hold, and we'll be good. Hopefully that should work. World Championship, son. Oh, that's a tiny tool. Yeah, when I say micro tool, I, I literally mean like an inch, two inches. Dynamic tip. A lot of people think you have to go full guns blazing on a coordination dyno, and this is the mistake I'm making. I think it's better to go slow to this first like swing grip, mm. get the swing one good, and then like drive your hips through, hit the foothold, and then go fast after this, not before it. Makes sense because really the first swing is only to get to there. Yeah. You I'm, don't I'm really not going need to. Too far. Yeah. You know, I need to just get this. Sick, mate. Oh, you see how much difference that made just going slow. So if you look at uh, Jan Ugarnbrit's send of this in mm. the World Championship final. She she goes really slow to that first grip. I think everyone else that didn't do it, they're trying to go full guns blazing to the first one. And it means they can't get any control and swing to the next section of the climb. So go slow initially. Nice mate, are you happy with that? Yeah, quite happy. I think I'm just gonna try and stop on that foothold again, see if it's forced. If it's forced, I'll be really happy. I think you can probably stop. And this is why we need like a steeper angle just to keep, keep it forced, but it's okay. It's no, good. I think that was really good. So how long did that take us? Like 15 minutes? 15? 15? Nah. 10 minutes? It was about four. 30, 40? Shh, don't tell them that. Oh. That's like World <laughs> Cup style block in 15 minutes. Oh yeah, dude. Easy. Top, top notch. Uh, cool, man, you did a really good job. You recreated that route real nice. Yeah. You gave people some good information. If you want to compare it to the, the one in the women's finals, let us know in the comments, Just see what you think. Did you oh. like it? Did you hate it? Do you think it's close enough? Do you think it's completely different? Beautiful. <laughs> Remember to like. Subscribe, leave us a comment, and ring that bell! Woo! I'm not very good with words, so when I'm trying to get my point across about movement, it might not make any sense. But I, I do know what I'm talking about. Just putting it into words is often very hard. Mate, evidently, it took me it's so difficult. an hour and a half to set the shittest possible blog on the planet. It took you like, 20 minutes to set some world-class shit. <laughs> no, but just talking about it, you know? Just well, talking about it. You speak it with your body. Correctly, it's kind of hard. Cool. So if you don't understand it, let me know and I'm gonna work on it. And cool. I'll make it better for you guys. And uh, you guys are the ones that matter. Write down in the comments below if you want a video where Jake just tries to explain things using his body and not words. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Through the medium of dance. Yeah. Bye guys. Bye. See you soon.